what is up guys and welcome back to the channel today i'm in the volkswagen showroom to bring you a sneak peek of the newly released id unix here in shanghai let's go take a look so i'm just gonna start from the front so this is the front of the id unix um i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong but it looks like it's a china exclusive vehicle for the chinese market so we're starting here from the front so as you can see the uh, headlights really really beautiful a nice light bar across and it has an illuminated uh, vw badge as well and it has a very interesting design to the bonnet so these two extreme ends are recessed and this part that houses the logo kind of protrudes overall a really nice design from volkswagen something that is not very usual with them and the front part the lighting the light is here so the front part kind of has the same vibe as the new design language that is coming with id cars now you have front uh, sensors so it is an id unix and if we move on to the side let's take a look at the side before we go into the vehicle proper so it has the iq light that has a function to automatically dim when you get closer to uh, or when you are facing oncoming traffic and then looking on the side it's a really nice looking car I saw it in pictures I didn't know it was it looked this nice so it also comes with 21 inch wheels looking really really nice this one is slapped on with some Goodyear tires and it fills the well really nicely I think 20 inches fills it really nicely and I like the design of these wheels it's gonna be quite easy to to clean them and it also has these plastic um, sort of covers wheel covers or inserts which is gonna help with aerodynamics and you have some um, you have a big mirror on the side with a camera beneath it and very very similar to all the ID vehicles and on the side this is how the side looks like and just like all the their new design language for their door handles for all VAW vehicles nowadays especially the IDs you put your hand in there you pull it electronically opens for you feeling very very heavy and the door slams really nicely and if I just step back a little bit it's going on to the back so as you get to the back, it gets bigger and higher, kind of giving you a kind of a Tesla sort of vibe. But then it feels um, really, really nice. And you have some black accents all around. So most parts of it or some parts of it have been blacked out to give you that sport feel. And as we move on to the back, again, we have IQ, IQ light branding right here. And if I just step back a little bit, the brand name and all that is put in gold, which makes it look quite premium. And you have some sport looking plastics down there. And up here you have another brake light bar with a red illuminated Volkswagen logo. And yeah, it looks really, really nice overall. So let me just uh, go around and then open the boot. Get some nice reflector bar running down here. Looking really, really nice. And if we go and take a look at the... Okay, Quan Oh, okay. So if you look at the charging, yeah, you have your AC charger and your DC charger. Really, really nice. Nothing electronic, just normal uh, mechanical operation which is not going to fail I like those better and looking on the right hand side of the vehicle this is what it looks like it measures 4 meters 77 4.77 meters long a little shorter than the ID7 and the right side is basically just like the, the left side so I'm just gonna go in and step into let me first show you the boot it's got a really nice spoiler here um, it's not one of those that is slapped on it's kind of part of the light bar so it's, it's gonna be very very solid to open the boot you have to go way down and you have a camera right there 
and if we look at the boot it's of a very very good size being a, a Volkswagen I don't think the boot should be an issue here it's maybe not class leading but it's more than enough to carry all your load and down here you have your tow bar and your subwoofer coming for the Harman Kardon um, speaker system and looking opens really really wide as well it's a hatch so no matter how tall you are you're not gonna hit your head on the boot lid I like hatchbacks for taller people it makes so much sense so the press to close it goes down relatively fast um, let me just show you the the rear seat so if you open the door opens relatively wide and you've got very nice door panels here you got your Harman Kardon speakers here some hard plastics all around there's no felt lined inside but you got these perforations with the ambient lighting protruding or coming through the dot very very nice and the door handle very very nice blacked out and you have your seats which seats really really high so your legs are not going to be hanging unlike other EVs and you have very nice deep wells as well and the floor is almost completely flat so you're not going to have any intrusions the only thing is this thing protrudes a little bit further so that might be a problem for some people you got some isofix anchor points and nice nicely done you don't have to take these plastics off so you don't lose them and if you don't need it you just push it back um, let me just sit in so we can see so yeah I'm 183 centimeters and I sat in those seats in the front and I still have about one knee space here so it's gonna be uh, really good for most people you got some sports inspired seats here and you got some uh, vents on the back for your passengers and you get a nice pocket here for storage of a phone or something and down there you have two USB type C charging ports and if you look on the opposite side so what you see on the opposite side is what you're gonna see on my side and if we look back here the back window is kinda tiny and is being blocked by these head rests you got your parcel shelf down there so it's a bit cramped in the back but if you're not carrying huge people it should be fine and up here you got your lighting for your passenger so you just touch it's touch sensitive you just touch to to uh, turn it on and off and you have your unix branded onto the seat and being sports inspired the interior is the seats are white but a most mostly interior is black and the rear seats have this Alcatara so in the middle you have the Napa leather but on the sides you have perforated Alcantara they're heated as well they are not cool but they're heated feels really really nice and has really good support and behind the seat you have some uh, pockets for storage and up here you have two other pockets for maybe a mobile phone a card or things like that and you have a nice panoramic roof which you can close by operating in front and then this slides all the way to the front for those very sunny days so i'm just going to go in the front seat and show you so yeah just like all the ids you have your window control buttons here and this thing that many people are complaining about is still on this unix looks like volkswagen thinks is the best way to the way to go uh, let's take a look at the the front so this screen is just like that of the id3 4 and 6 It's different on the on the 7 because it's recessed into the dash but let's start from here so you have some nice really really wide vents um, the design is relative i don't know what to say of it but if it works why not you have your lighting controls down here front fog mode rear and all that good stuff and you have your stocks right here for wipers tan signal all kinds of operations and you have the new stock and you have your touch sensitive buttons so there's been complaints about it but Volkswagen thinks they should keep doing it 
and you have a 15 inch screen here uh, very very bright and it, can, it comes with heated seats um, illuminated controls down here and overall the screen is very very bright it's relatively responsive just like on uh, the new ID uh, OS 2.0 and you also have ambient lighting you can change so basically the functions will be similar to those on other ids and you can see the design of the dash instead of having a straight dash like vw traditionally has this one is kind of like a, a c-shaped sort of design which is nice looks different and you have your vents here very wide vents that you can control and here you have one wireless charging port and here you can it's a, it's a space for another phone to be placed but when you lift it it makes way for two USB-C chargers there you have another storage compartment here and you have two cup holders here that are nicely illuminated and down here in the back in the middle you have your um, you have your center pocket and you have your 12 volt socket right there easy to access you just push to close and that doubles as a hand rest as well when you're driving overall very nice sports seats um, they they offer a lot of support when you're sitting in the car and no electronic opening um, it's not lined with felt just traditional Volkswagen and you have lots of plastics everywhere but as long as it doesn't rattle and it keeps you comfortable why not and up here you have your vanity mirror with with your light and up here you have your SOS button you have your um, controls for the sunshade you have touch to operate lighting you have a smallish sort of mirror and the the rear mirror is quite the rear window is quite small but when you look here you can see it is it is not too bad you can actually see quite a bit behind you yeah so that is the id unix that has been released exclusively for china at least that's what i'm told i don't know what you think about it let me know in the comment section if it's something that you would have considered if it was coming to your market Alright guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm truly grateful. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel together. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in the next video guys, drive legally, drive safely. Peace and I'm out.